Let's say you have a love for history. You can have long discussions about the Civil War or go on about the antics of Napoleon Bonaparte at the dinner table. But how do you keep your composure when you select an assignment for a chemistry class, PE, or perhaps a kindergarten class? Don't panic. The main thing you want to remember is you love learning and information. Regardless of the subject, you can translate your enthusiasm into a great day of teaching. Here's how. First, use the lesson plan. For most people, the last Shakespeare you read was required reading in high school, and then you never thought about it again. Now here you are walking into a class studying Hamlet for two weeks, and you're asked to jump in? What do you do? Before you do anything, take a deep breath. The classroom teacher has left a lesson plan for you to follow. Your job right now, before the students arrive, is to read and familiarize yourself with the plan. The subject matter will fall into place on its own. The classroom teacher knows you're not a Shakespeare expert and does not expect you to teach a master's class on the subject. Oftentimes, classroom teachers assign review material when they know they'll be out of the classroom. You will not be required to come up with any groundbreaking Shakespeare analysis on your own. Promise. Secondly, get the students to teach you. Within reason, you're not actually switching places and hopping into a student's desk. Let's say you're teaching and come across a term you're unfamiliar with. You may ask for a student to tell you what it means. A good example is asking something like, hyperbole, hmm, I need a refresher on what this means. Who can help define the term? This type of question not only gets the students more involved with the lesson, but also gives you context for the class you're teaching. Asking questions often leads to more questions, and before you know it, you have a class discussion. This helps fill class time constructively while also providing you more information. Another suggestion is pairing up students who seem to be having an easy time with the assignment with students who seem to be struggling. Encourage the pair to talk it out, and as you circulate the room, get the students to explain to you how they came to their conclusions. If you have a few students really knocking it out of the park, invite them up to the board to demonstrate how they got their answer. Lastly, remember that great teaching transcends the subject matter. Regardless of the subject matter, great teachers will all have a few traits in common, including giving consistent and clear instructions, spelling out their expectations, following a plan, putting the students first, and enjoying their jobs. Learning how to apply these traits to your own guest teaching experience will help you have a great day in any classroom. Remember, together, we can make the biggest difference.